Hi, and welcome back to SAT Biology Review. My name is Liz, and today we will be continuing the cellular and molecular biology chapter. Today we'll be learning about enzymes. Enzymes. And that's a picture of an enzyme. So in life, uh, life needs chemistry in order to, to function. This much is obvious. There are different reactions happening all the time in living things, and we need chemistry in order to function. But these reactions would occur extremely slowly on their own. Enzymes act as biological catalysts. They speed up reactions, making them useful for living organisms. They're also making sure that these reactions are happening at the right speed, at the right time. So enzymes are really important when it comes to life. Chemical reactions. Every chemical reaction follows this same basic idea. You have reactants and then they yield products. So these reactants are the starting material of the reaction, and while the products are what's left over after the chemical, chemical reaction has taken place. The reactants have a particular energy, energy stored within their bonds and their movements, and the products have their own particular energy as well. So basically, the reactants have their own level of potential energy stored within them, and the products have their own potential energy stored within them as well. The difference between the energy of the reactants and the products lets us know whether we need to put in a lot of energy or whether this reaction will give off energy, making it either an endergonic or an exergonic reaction. In reactions involving enzymes, these, re these reactants are referred to as substrates. Now, in normal chemistry, have to do with the body, with li living things, just working in a lab. Um, chemical reactions generally depend on collisions. These different molecules are colliding with, with each other and causing a reaction. Now, you can increase the rate of these collisions usually by either increasing the temperature so that these different molecules have more energy and are colliding into each other more frequently or by increasing the number of reactants, increasing the number of substrates so that these coll collisions happen more often as well. In living things, it's not always possible to just increase the temperature or to increase the number of substrates, to increase the number of reactants. So enzymes work in a different way to increase these reactions. So chemical reactions continued. To go from being substrates into products, chemicals first need to go through a high energy state called the transition state. It's high energy and very unstable. The energy needed to reach the transition state is called the activation energy, or EA. So if we look at this graph, here we have the energy of the reactants and here we have the energy of the products. So we see that the change of energy is actually, it's giving off energy right here, but first, this is the transition state. This is where the transition state would be, and this is the activation energy necessary. Now the transition state is such a high energy, so unstable, because it's somewhere in between the reactants and the products. It's neither the reactants, it's neither the products, it's got kind of all of the bonds in between the two different